this is without a doubt probably going to be one of the funnest review videos I've done in a while. I just got the brand new 2021 Otter Vortex Thermal Hub. It's a six to seven man. This thing is huge. And let me tell you something, I've already set it up once and this is one of the easiest shelters to set up. And the reason being, it's so heavy. When you're fighting with the little tents, I've already noticed so I had a three man Eskimo and when you pull it to sides, all you do is fight it and you pull the tent. But this tent, it's like you can set it up so easy by yourself. Under five minutes to set up and under five minutes to take down. I'll show you guys in the video, but basically to set it up, you gotta pull the outsides out individually and the weight keeps it in one spot so they pop out in five I think it's around five sides and then the last thing you do is you go inside the tent and you push it up now I can't wait to pop this thing up and show you guys how if this is the Cadillac of freaking ice tents it's a little more money but you get what you pay and I'm so freaking pumped to show you how good it is I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod here and I'm gonna show you how this is done so keep in mind this is my second time setting this up and the very first time it wasn't even five minutes so it's not hard at all it's gonna take up an ice sled essentially so I might even have to get another sled some for the gear and some for the tent itself it weighs probably I don't, it weighs a lot it comes in this big sack it's a strong canvas case it's huge it's massive very heavy Okay, this is the case. And there's lots of room. It's not like those stupid sleeping bags. You can barely get it back in. They give you lots of room. So you don't have to fight with it. Yeah, let's go, baby. Thank you. I'm fighting with it. There we go. I lied. I'm an outright liar. So here we go. And it's a hard canvas plastic in the bottom here too. So that's gonna last. It's not gonna wear out. This is your big sack here, your case put all of your anchors and this is a uh, just a label you can put your tent and everything kind of like ice shelters you just put your um, who shelter it is name and everything else so we're gonna put that back in there and it's not windy we don't need the pegs today now comes with the strap here too Ugh. there's one strap right here too just take it off give it a yeet and this is the coolest part it's so cool you get a flag and a beacon to go on top because you do need it some days on the ice when it's foggy and snowing bad things do happen and people run into things so put the beacon on and the flag pretty cool all right it's actually getting really cold out it's fall here and it sucks which means well it's good for ice fishing but we gotta slow down on the regular fishing all right so this thing essentially just unfolds itself accordingly kind of flop the edges out and then you'll start lifting out and then we'll start popping out the sides Now we're just gonna start popping the sides out as we go around. One. And now, like I was saying, it's heavy, so you don't fight really with anything. Just pull it straight out. Very easy. Freaking sweet though. Oh, we haven't forgot about you guys. We'll keep you on the loop. Pulling it. Just about, and we're explaining that as we go too, so you would be a little quicker too if you just went full throttle. And that's it. How hard was that? Right around the outside, didn't fight with anything. So now, we gotta find the doorway. I didn't give us enough room at all. Good planning, Cody. All right, we can pop this open. Nice Velcro tabs. Like that. I'll give you the best view I can. Side. Pop it up. That's it. How long did that take? And I was explaining it at the same time. It's not hard. I didn't fight with anything. Not like those stupid little tents that I hate now. Okay, now I'm just gonna go around the outside and just kind of tidy it up, nice and pretty light. Just pull the sides out, get the skirting out. Because when you get to the ice, it helps keep the uh, heat in and everything. You just pack snow around the outside, you lose stuff, and just fill it up, uh, or pile it up around the sides. Nice, 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 nice. 
I'm like a kid in a candy store. Right? Right? It's awesome, hey? You guys haven't seen the inside yet. So I think we're just gonna start on the outsides, the cool things. Everything's cool, but we'll take a close up on everything. We're just gonna start in the bottoms here. <laughs> Look at my hair. Oh, that's just, that's, I don't know what to think about this anymore. <laughs> Pretty gnarly. Okay, ah, sidetracked, okay. Now the sides. Now what you can do, after you put these in, you put them together with your anchors here, and you can cinch it up too. So it keeps your sides super tight in the bottom, because lots of the other styles too, they get really loose and they flop in the wind, so this sturdies up absolutely everything. So each anchor point has the exact same uh, cinch points too when you anchor to the ice. Now this is absolutely amazing. All the other tents I purchased did not have the lanyard, and this one comes with it. It's just, you, you need these, especially when you're in Saskatchewan, it's too windy. And what happens if you don't use these, the wind just pushes in the side and claps your tent and knocks your camera over. And you get really mad and you're really lucky you didn't fall in the water. <laughs> so, so you guys know how to use these, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, anchor these down with other pins on the side of the ice and it stops your sides. And it's fantastic because it's got a little case here too. You can wrap them back up and put them there so you never lose anything. So every corner, has those two all tucked away, nice and neat. And the quality, just touch it, just touch it. It's good material too, it's gonna last. It's really heavy duty too. Well that's new. We got a little thing there. We can hang stuff if you want, don't know what. This is probably one of the simplest and coolest features I like. If you have a big buddy heater, you can get a hose adapter that runs to a 30 pound propane tank. So you just run your hose through here and leave your 30 pound outside. So it's just another way to save space. And there's one on this side and one directly adjacent on the other side. Just another little thing to save space and why this thing is the Cadillac of ice tents. All right, here we go. Grand finale. Wait till you see this. It's going to blow your mind. Look at the freaking size. You can hear your echo. This is how big it is. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm going to lay down here. You guys can get the full view here. Put this right on the ground. I need a wide angle lens to do this part. I should have done that, it been a lot better. Now we're gonna pop some uh, windows open and there's a really interesting feature with these windows I'll go over to. All right, so this is it. Look at all the windows. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And everybody, this is, the, this is another cool feature. These ones right here, why are they low? Because when you're squatting right here, watching your hole and you got a tip up way out there, you don't gotta stand up, like in some tents, like when they're here, to actually look at your tip up. You can stay sitting right here, looking at your tip up, out the window. Cause that's probably about 18 inches from the ground right there. So that's great. Just decided to say hello, hey girl. Run around, sniff poo, that's what I thought. All right, so now more features about in here. Look at all the cuppy holders. You have one there, two, three, four. And look at the one on top here too. You can put what, your coats, like anything, it's, it's, use your imagination, it's whatever you wanna put up there. And there's another one on this side too. And look at all the rod holders. Like it, it doesn't end, it doesn't end. Four, eight, 12, 16. 16 rods for one person, I guess it's legal if you can do that. No, I'm just joking, it's two per person. Don't do anything illegal. And you got your vents on each side too, for your heater, so you don't smother yourself. Another one right there. Now, I'm legitimately sweating. It's hot in here. It keeps the heat in. It's amazing. Outside, it's cold. It was about five degrees this morning. And in here, like, it's hot. Like, I gotta take some sweaters off if I were to stay in here. And for comparison, I was gonna, you know what? I think I gotta take measure. Just for uh, proof, we'll show you guys the actual measurements of the inside. And I'm 5'10", so pretty good, hey? You can literally walk around here for six foot. If you stay in the center. Not so much here because I'm 5'10", you'd bottom out right there. <laughs> All right, I knew it, I had to take measurements of the truck, so I'll give you guys actual measurements in your two, because there's always people that are curious about how tall it is exactly, and the total width on the inside. So I'm just gonna put the camera down. Right about here, should be pretty close. Can you see me? Sure you can, okay. This thing from ground to tall, it's gonna bottom out. Oh, this thing. I'm gonna rip it out, I don't wanna wreck it here. So ground to top, two more inches, 80 inches roughly, 80 inches. Now, we're gonna do the sides. Now, there is two doors, right in line. I think I already said that, I don't remember. So we're gonna measure from door to door, total distance apart here. 140 inches across. 
So you're not lacking room. It's just, it's meant for six to seven. It could probably fit, I don't know, comfortably five for sure in my dog. Cause my dog always comes too. So this is it, this is the inside. It's, I can't wait to use this. You could live in this thing. It's that big. Now, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. This is only my second time looking at this. And if you look closely, everything. Very well reinforced, it's really thick canvas too. This is all heavy duty, there's nothing cheap. There's not one thing cheap about this entire thing. Oh, well, there we go. Hope you guys like it. That's about the only thing I can tell you about it. It just got it, like I was saying, the second time taking it out. Super easy to take up, put down. If you guys wanna watch me uh, take it down, go back to the start of the video and put it in reverse. It's exactly the same. So hope you liked it, subscribe. See you on the next one.